It appears that Hunter Biden is, uh, well, going after the computer shop owner that disseminated his uh, information from the so-called laptop from hell. So now uh, he has officially filed a countersuit against shop owner John Paul Mac Isaac. So now, interestingly enough, this is actually a countersuit. So now, originally, John Paul Mac Isaac uh, had sued Hunter uh, over suggestions that he was part of a Russian plot to undermine the election using Hunter's private personal data. Uh, some of that data, uh, of course, included sensitive photos and videos of Hunter Biden engaging in some salacious activities, uh, stuff that definitely you would want to keep personal, that you would not want all over the internet for every weirdo right winger to try to stare at. And look, uh, I, I'm not, I'm going to be honest about this, right? I have noticed, and you can get mad at me for it, but I have noticed that there were a lot of people on the right that were very, very thirsty for Hunter Biden's dick pics. Tallywhacker. Testicles. I'm not saying anything, okay? Ex except that it seems a little weird. Uh, they they're very, very obsessed with uh, Hunter Biden's junk. I don't know why. Uh, and of course, when you have half the, I wouldn't say half the country, but a pretty big chunk of the right-wing electorate in this country that are obsessing over your dick uh, and showing these pictures, which are, by the way, very, very personal and very private, you're going to get upset about it. And so the reaction here is, understandable so yes the counter claim uh the counter suit claim is of course the fact that isaac uh john paul match isaac had violated hunter biden's privacy by sharing that private information uh with allies of then president donald trump uh including people like uh, rudy giuliani whoa, 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 whoa. so now he said look uh no matter how you came into the possession of uh, this laptop and this information specifically, right? These pictures, these videos, uh, all this stuff. Um, you still, uh, this is the counterclaim uh, asserting that Isaac improperly accessed and more importantly, disseminated those files. So look, yes, Hunter Biden left the laptop there, uh, did not go and retrieve it. That laptop subsequently became the property of John Paul Mac Isaac, but still they're arguing that, look, even though the, the laptop itself was yours uh, under this law, still you didn't have a right to then take my personal photos and disseminate them online. And I think that seems perfectly reasonable, considering how a lot of this stuff that was released it was the salacious stuff. It was the stuff that was, uh, that basically could be considered to be revenge porn. And there are laws against that. And so they, he could definitely make that argument uh, and maybe be pretty successful with it. Uh, in fact, the lawsuit uh, says that Mr. Biden just wants any copy of his data as well as monetary compensation for Mac, uh, Mr. Mac Isaac's willful, wanton, and reckless conduct as well as reimbursement for attorney's fees. As a result of Mac Isaac's unlawful agreement and its conspiracy with others, the lawsuit alleges, Mr. Biden's personal data was made available to third parties and then ultimately to the public at large, which is highly offensive, causing harm to Mr. Biden and his reputation. Now, look, uh, I would, let me just say, and again, I'm being super obvious, uh, or, or I'm, you know, super honest here about this, right? And, and it does seem pretty obvious to me, but, Hunter Biden has done a lot to damage his own reputation aside from that. And again, it, Hunter Biden is a deeply troubled person. And I actually hope that he is able to get or has been able to get help in dealing with addiction, uh, his addiction issues and, and all that stuff and to get him on a better path. Well, because honestly, like, yeah, I, I want 
it, it doesn't matter like who you are, what your political affiliation is. I, I don't want people to have to suffer through that kind of addiction. Now, in this in this case, that addiction did happen to lead to all of this massive invasion into his per personal and private information in a what is an absolutely political effort to hurt the election chances of his father. And so that's where it gets super gross. Aside from the sharing the dick pics, this was all political. This was a political hitch up to hurt Joe Biden. So now, in fact, uh, the object, according to the lawsuit, of invading, uh, I'm sorry, the object of invading Mr. Biden's privacy and disseminating his data was not for any legitimate purpose, but to cause harm and embarrassment to Mr. Biden. Fair. So, no, look, the way that I look at it, I'm a little bit versed in computer repair, right? I never ran a computer repair shop or anything like that, but, you know, I know the basics of it. Um, and when you, to my understanding, not only as somebody who has a little bit of that background, but also as someone who has common decency, um, if someone drops off a laptop uh, and forgets to pick it up, I would say that it's not exactly the best practice for you to go snooping through it, even if they never came to pick it up. I would just be like, okay, uh, wipe the data. There you go. Now, some of them, uh, some of the arguments against that is, well, what if they had evidence of potential crimes on there? Well, again, if you don't have any suspicion that there is any information on this laptop about potential crimes, then it shouldn't be your business to go in and, uh, you know, snoop through that data looking for evidence of potential crimes. And so, again, that's that's personally uh, what I'm thinking. But again, um, as far as best practices go, as someone who's supposed to be a professional that you trust with your devices that, yes, could contain personal data and racy pictures or images, videos, etc., just don't go snooping through it. Sorry, call it a professional courtesy. But it, again, it just seems very gross and politically motivated. Again, considering that John Paul Mac Isaac has, uh, well, he's a conspiracy theorist, um, believes in, you know, the deep state, that kind of thing, and is a big Trump supporter. So he's got his uh, politics. And of course, somebody with the last name of Biden comes in, drops off their stuff. And then that stuff becomes your property. I think it's definitely a political motive in looking through that stuff. I'm an IT guy, Jeff. I would never go through someone's data period. I would do the DOD hard drive wipe, seven passes, and then move on. What the guy did was wrong. Yeah, again, that's the whole point that I'm trying to make. It's just, it's not a, it's not good and professional to do that. To look through people's personal data, even if, again, the law said... Uh, that after, and, and Biden had signed uh, that agreement, that if you didn't come to pick it up, you essentially abandoned it. Abandoned or not, it's still not cool to go through and share, disseminate people's personal information. But as I said before, the only reason you look through, through it is because it belonged to a Biden and there was a political motive here. And again, the reason the information on it was of interest to people is because of these political reasons. Uh, and again, the motivation here for giving over that information, disseminating it to uh, allies of uh, former President Donald Trump or then President Donald Trump was, of course, for personal gain. In my opinion. That doesn't mean that Hunter Biden isn't at fault for leaving the laptop there and allowing for someone to, you know, I guess trusting someone to not go through what was on that laptop. I definitely think he shouldn't have done that, but that doesn't excuse what John Paul Mag Isaac had done. Um, and so, again, I just want to be very, very clear here that I'm not blaming Biden and not excusing what John Paul Mac Isaac had done, but I'm also not letting Biden uh, 
get away with, of course, well, get away is kind of a weird, uh, you know, term to use, but it's like, you probably should have known better, especially since you knew what was on your own device and you knew as a Biden, you had to have known that your dad has political presidential aspirations and maybe you should be more careful. I'm just saying, when it comes to politics, you all know, and I say it all the time, politics is dirty, 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 dirty. And so, yes, just try, I guess, to do the minimum to not just protect yourself and your own data from unscrupulous people, but also your dad. You know, it, it just seems like a common sense kind of thing. But as I said before, it, it is incredibly gross, incredibly gross for uh, John Paul Mac Isaac to do. So, you know, again, getting back to the uh, politics, right? I just can't help but think that, you know, like, look at it this way. Imagine all your dirty secrets, homemade explicit images and videos that you, yes, you made, if you made that. The broadcast for the world to hear, all in order to attack the political aspirations of your dad. So, I mean, imagine, like, feeling that violation, because that's what it is. It's a violation. And so, in that case, and again, this violation was mainly used as a political weapon in order to attack a member of your family. You would be pissed. I'd be pissed. And, of course, I would do probably what what Hunter Biden's doing and it, it, and I would sue. And I think it's actually a smart political uh, choice for him to pick up and fight because after, uh, after all, at the end of the day, an invasion of privacy like this is just uncalled for unspeakable and to see it wielded as a political weapon ineffectively, by the way, I mean, it's just, it's just, beyond the pale and so I, I i'm glad i look i hope the guy gets his life together obviously or has gotten his life together and by the way if he did uh you know not pay his taxes or commit any sort of crimes then obviously you should you know face consequences for that uh that that and, that, and i would apply that evenly to everyone it doesn't matter if you're you know what side of the political island you're on if you're uh son or daughter of donald trump uh, or if you're the son of, you know, Joe Biden or any other politician, we should have a law that applies equally to everyone, no matter their, their politics. Uh, if you do something wrong, yes, you should you should get in, in trouble for it and should have to, you know, uh, owe up for it and take responsibility for it. Right. But that said, uh, here. I like that uh, Biden uh, is actually taking the opportunity to fight back. 